Materials Engineering Review, Pass Exam, Part 4 by Engineer Pogs. Number 41. The group index number is a measure of the relative supporting power of the subgrade soil. Does higher GI number will require? I-define natin muna kung ano ibig sabihin ng group index. It is a number assigned to the soil based on its physical properties like particle size, liquid limit, and plastic limit. It varies from a value of 0 to 20. The lower the value of GI, the higher quality of subgrade. And the greater value of GI means poor quality of subgrade. Poor subgrade should be avoided if possible. But when it is necessary to build over weak soils, there are several methods used to improve subgrade performance. First, removal and replacement. Second, stabilization with a cementitious or asphaltic binder. And third, additional base layers. And based on the choices, the answer is letter B, greater depth of base and surface. Number 42. All tests for determination of consistency limits of soils are on the fraction of soil passing the blank seed. Based on a ash to T89, the sample must pass seed number 40. Therefore, the answer is letter B, number 40. Number 43. The degree of compaction in the field can be verified by Field density test and job density test is just the same. Therefore, the answer is letter C. Number 44. Unsuitable materials are materials other than the suitable materials such as Based on Blue Book 2013, Section 104.2, unsuitable materials are materials under the suitable materials such as the following listed below. And based on the choices, the answer is letter D, all of the above. Number 45. The materials above MLLW or mean lower low water in the reclamation obtained by dredging or from barrow pits shall be spread out and compacted in layers. Based on DPWH Blue Book Volume 3, buildings, ports, and harbors, flood control and drainage structure and water supply systems, the materials about MLLW, whether obtained by dredging or from barrow pit, shall be spread out and compacted in layers not exceeding 300 mm. Therefore, the answer is letter C. Actually, no nag-review ako for materials engineering, ay hindi ko na ni-review yung DPWH Blue Book Volume 3. Number 46. Minimum percent compaction requirement of fill material about MLLW. Again, based on DPWH Blue Book Volume 3, the pill shall be compacted to not less than 90% of the standard Proctor test requirement. Therefore, the answer is letter D. Number 47. All borings on soil survey along a new route of road to be constructed shall be generally carried to a depth of at least Based on DPWH Department Order 229 Series of 1993, medyo matagal na yung DO na to, Guidelines on Soil Survey and Sampling for Highway Design and Subsurface Exploration for Design and Construction of Foundation of Bridges. The depth of borings along new route, the exploration shall extend to a maximum depth of 1.5 meters below the proposed subgrade. But this value is a maximum depth. And along existing road, Supplemental boring shall be taken to a depth of at least 1 meter below the subgrade, but this is for the existing road. At ito yung nasa answer key, 1.0 meter below the subgrade line. Number 48, locations of boring on the new proposed road shall be taken, again based on DO 229 series of 1993, boring shall be taken along the proposed center line, and boring may also be taken along the side, if necessary. Therefore, the answer is letter C, both A and B. Number 49. Minimum depth of boring on bridge project below the riverbed in ordinary soil. Again, based on DO 229 series of 1993. For subsurface exploration for design and construction of foundation of bridges, Boring shall be carried to a minimum depth of 20 meters below the river bed in ordinary soil. Therefore, the answer is letter B, 20 meters. Number 50. Maximum depth of exploration below subgrade level on road construction 
or areas of light cut and peel where there are no special problem. Again, based on DO 229 series of 1993, the depth of borings along new route shall extend to a maximum depth of 1.5 meter below the proposed subgrade. Therefore, the answer is letter C, 1.5 meters. Number 51. Piles shall be used only in places where the minimum penetration of blank in firm material can be obtained. Based from DPWH Blue Book 2013, Section 400.3.3, Piles shall be used only in places where the minimum penetration of 3 meters in pure materials. Therefore, the answer is letter C, 3 meters. Number 52. Piles shall be used only in places where the minimum penetration of blank in soft material can be obtained. Again, based on DPWH Blue Book 2013, Section 400.3.3, .3, piles shall be used only in places where the minimum penetration of 5 meters in soft materials can be obtained. Therefore, the answer is letter B, 5 meters. Number 53, minimum depth of borings for bridge project in bedrocks. Based from DPWH Department Order 229 Series of 1993, for subsurface exploration for design and construction of foundation of bridges, borings shall be carried to a minimum depth of 3 meters in bedrocks. Therefore, the answer is letter B, 3 meters. Number 54, liquid limit is either, mathematically, plasticity index is liquid limit minus plastic limit. This parameter cannot be negative. If plastic limit is larger than the liquid limit, it is considered to be zero and soil is considered as non-plastic. So, pwede mangyari na yung plastic limit ay mas malaki sa liquid limit. Going back to the choices, the answer is letter D, all of the above. Kasi pwede mangyari na yung liquid limit ay mas malaki sa plastic limit, pwedeng liquid limit is equal to plastic limit, and pwede din na liquid limit is mas maliit sa plastic limit. Number 55, physical property of soil that gives an indication of clay contents. The answer is letter B, plasticity index. Number 56, test used to evaluate the potential strength of soil aggregate. Based on ASTM D1883, Test for California Bearing Ratio of Laboratory Compacted Soil. This test method is used to evaluate the potential strength of subgrade, subbase, and base course materials, including recycled materials for use in the design of road and airfield pavements. Therefore, the answer is letter C, so CBR value. Number 57, minimum CBR required for base course. Based from DPWH Blue Book 2013, Section 201.2, the SOCBR value shall not be less than 80% as determined by AASHTO T193. Therefore, the answer is letter C, 80. Number 58, Maximum Plasticity Index for Base Scores. Based from DPWH Blue Book 2013, Section 201.2, Plasticity index shall not be greater than 6 as determined by AASHTO T90. Therefore, the answer is letter B, 6. Number 59. Maximum thickness of any one layer in spreading and compacting base and sub-base courses. Based from DPWH Blue Book 2013, Section 203.3, the maximum compacted thickness of any layer shall not exceed 150 mm. Therefore, the answer is letter A, 150 mm. And last, number 60, 300 mm thickness of base and sub-base courses will be spread and compacted into, again, from DPWH Blue Book 2013, Section 203.3, it was stated that per layer shall not exceed 150 mm. Kaya naman kung meron tayong 300 mm thickness, i-divide natin ng 150, it shall be compacted by 2 layers. The answer is letter B, 2 layers.